Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel where I create magical, nerdy and weird things. I'm ashamed that I had this project pending for editing for so long, but it is finally finished now. At the end of the last Catan video I showed you some test prints of token boxes and after Leo and I figured that all the tokens fit, we printed the final version in this amazing bright pink that was a nightmare to cover up with paint. If you would like to print the box yourself, I will upload the STL file on Thingiverse or on my webpage and you can find the link in the video description. All the pieces have got a few layers of black matte acrylic paint on the inside and layer of white gesso on the outside. After every layer I waited for the paint to dry before adding another. And then I applied a few layers of black on the bottom of the boxes, because no other color is the new black. I sketched a simple design for the top of the boxes and take a shot every time I say boxes or rather not because I think I repeat a lot. I used brown acrylic paint for the base of the covers. I wanted to achieve a wood looking paint job, so I put a lighter brown as a base and made a watery wash with dark brown acrylic and a bunch of now take a guess, water, followed by a lighter brown dry brushing, which I did not like and went over with dry brushing of dark brown again. Shout out to all miniature painting channels that taught me about dry brushing and light washes, cause yeah I needed that. The bottoms of the boxes are mostly finished, just a few corrections with Liquitex acrylic ink because I was too lazy to use masking tape to tape the edges. And also planning layers is apparently not my thing. I 
After that I seal the dried paint and ink with clear satin spray varnish. That comment about planning layers, don't put sheer yellow acrylic paint over a dark brown. So yeah, I painted over with opaque white acrylic paint and I also painted design in white on all other boxes, just in case. Every box has its design painted in different color, corresponding with the color of the tokens it holds. Baby Cat, are you finished? Uh -huh. You need to clean yourself a little bit more? Okay. After the paint dry, I use sheer metallic acrylic paint to go over the designs and I put gold over warmer colors and silver over colder ones. I guess that white can be a colder color. I tried to make a wash with metallic paint, but the paint that I used did not cooperate, so it worked at the end, it's fine. For the last detail I outlined all the designs with a black permanent marker and when all was finished and right the tops of the boxes were also sprayed with the varnish. And boxes are done. All that is left to make is a frame for the playing board. I know that the new version already comes with a frame, but I have the old one, so I'm gonna make one myself. And I promise that it will be quicker than editing this video. In the meantime, you can check the previous Katana related video or any other video on my channel. If you like what I make, you can give me a like or subscribe. And most of all, have a good and magical day. Bye!